Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This week I'm using a new deck, it's called the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding. You can see the review, I've gone really uh, into detail with this review and you can see how how the cards look like and you can also see how the cards are put together and the overall picture. So have a look. It's quite a long video, but I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you are looking for new decks. For those that uh, have come here for the reading, welcome. This is your reading from the 7th to the 13th of September. And um, please subscribe and hit the bell on all if you're new and welcome. If you would like to become a cyber angel, like uh, you will hear me say my cyber angel quite a bit in the videos, please join us or me for uh, in the life on Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. And welcome back to my usual loyal followers and viewers, the Cyber Angels. Thank you for your loyalty and trust. There is also a special offer on this week. It was only to remain uh, until the coming Sunday, but because I didn't go live yesterday, I didn't really announce it again. There is a special offer and this will be until uh, for an one and a half weeks. So uh, Sunday the 13th, this special offer will finish. You can have an extensive reading and a very in-depth reading um, for 35 euros. It will be about 30 minutes long and I don't stop at 30 minutes. If it's 32 or 35 minutes, I would like to get finish the reading. It is quality and not quantity that I believe in. So if you want, would like to have an extensive reading, then get in there before it's over and uh, you'll be the first come, first served. Okay, so I hope you will take a note of that and try it out. If you would like to have any other reading, uh, then have a look at the website because there are different readings and see what reading you want to have for 30 minutes. If you just want a romance reading, fine. If you want a crystal ball reading with cards, then I'll do that in the 30 minutes. The 30 minutes is for any reading that you wish to have. Okay, now let's begin and let's go to the story your story for this week. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Please like and share. Thank you. Hi every Capricorn, this is your reading with the Transparent uh, Tarot. If you would like to see more about the trans uh, Transparent Tarot, then please go and have a look at the review. It is um, a new way, it's a totally different way than everybody is accustomed and and that's why I decided to use it this week for the readings. I will be doing a nine card spread. I've put these out because this is the first storyline and you, well I'm not going into the spiel now I'll do m a little film before the uh, for this for every uh, video. This is the magician number one a new beginning we all know what the magician is and the magician is that be transparent, don't have any illusions, don't make illusions, be honest and true in everything you do. You've got all the elements within you and to be complete like the two, the dark side and the light side of yourself or the feminine and the masculine to make a union, to make it complete. You've got everything within you. You've got the talk. You've got two feet on the ground. You are strong in yourself. You stand strong. You've got the knowledge and now it's up to you to come into action. To do the walk and the talk. Then we have the High Priestess, which is two. And she, re she represents the God Muda, Moon... Uh, the Moon Goddess, sorry. And she has the book of all the answers, the book of wisdom. This is how it's depicted in this. So use your spirituality as well. You are both um, spiritual and material. So there you go. 
listen to your intuition and y you might be more empathic at the moment because we've just had the full moon also uh, your sense uh, senses might be heightened or more sensitive at this moment don't doubt them listen to them because it is a warning okay and you've got all of a sudden a uh, change you've got the tower number 16 sorry it's supposed to be lying like that number 16 which is seven so that's good luck so an unexpected change has arrived or is here um, at the end of the week now I forgot to do the weekend hold on we'll take this one at the weekend let's have a look right so you've got an unexpected um, change most probably on Friday or at the weekend and you've got the page of wands so this could be because you are getting news this energy I feel is more intertwined Friday Saturday Sunday you might get unexpected news that could be it as well and that will bring you into action see the little guy running or the girl <laughs> so it could be some young person that is bringing you news that could bring on the action actually happening perhaps you're still stagnating and not listening to your spiritual side your higher self to get going boom so the divine and the uh, angels have given you this new beginning and this luck okay you could be starting a new passion unexpectedly on Friday night with a fire sign this could be a Sagittarius and a um, an Aries or a Leo but the Sagittarians are the pages prominently and then we're going on to the second layer now you can see boom you've got the three of cups magic it has happened and see how they just fit into the circle you feel totally complete you might have just started a new relationship like I said and that's why um, and that is why uh, the celebrations are here right now we're going on to the second layer of the goddess the high priestess sorry I still have to get you can turn them any which way but I'm I'm still at the beginning stages getting used to the feeling of it all then you have the eight of fire now we were already saying in the beginning there's a new beginning okay that's the magician you've got everything in you but you didn't move in the first instance but at the weekend and Friday something started to move because of news now all of a sudden things are happening all at once with the eight of wands wow things are happening so fast you can see him running there's news coming in perhaps uh, you're getting news uh, because of this celebration coming together you might be getting things are happening all at once you might be even so much in love that you feel you've met, met your soulmate you're spiritually intertwined spiritually spiritually the high priestess I could also mean there might be marriage talk of marriage and things are happening really fast okay we've just come out of the eighth month and we're in a different energy we're in a an energy of Virgo if you haven't looked at the the energy of Virgo video I suggest you do that because this is um, um, a more of a steady slow but steady mm, with durability and long-term energy so this re, uh, uh, this union which is unexpected is here to stay for quite a long time you feel totally in what in sync with your partner this could be in business or this could be in love let's have a look what else we have then we have 
the Knights, the Knight of Pentacles. This could have been news that you are forming a partnership or you might be getting a new job. Celebrations, things are happening fast. You are in balance. You could be an unexpected promotion. Wow. Okay. Because we've got the tower in the back and the pentacle has come in and it's looking towards the um, high priestess and the eight of wands. So news again that things are happening fast. It could also be that you're meeting a Virgo, a Taurus or a Capricorn. Now we have temperance. You are heaven and earth are meeting up. Wow. So Capricorn, you are feeling in balance and so you should with everything that's happening. Now you can take it a little bit easier. If you're not in balance, then make sure you listen to your intuition. That is your guide. That's your higher self and the divine and the angel speaking to you. So, wow. This is glorious, glorious news. And then we go on to, it's not a nine card spread, it's an, a 12 card spread. And now we're going on to the third and final layer. You have the wants, and I already said to you, you might be getting married, and it's on top of the Three of Cups, the marriage card, and all celebrations if you're not getting married. So, celebrations, marriage, you could be getting married on Monday. Unity, look at these ones united. Everybody is united and happy for you. You're coming together, making family, becoming one. And then we have the Three of Swords. You might be missing somebody. Somebody could have passed and is missing the celebrations. But you're coming together. You're still thinking of them. The Three of Swords means that you're said. But because it's lying on the book, it looks as if you don't have enough knowledge. You're not listening to your intuition again. Why are you falling back into a doubt, into the same habit? You've got all you want. Don't doubt it. And forget about the past. Forget about losses. Be happy. The happiest moment is here right now in front of you. But don't turn your back on the happiness. Believe that it is okay. Listen to your intuition. Because look, he's got his back turned to the happiness. This is ultimate happiness. This storyline. Now let's have a look what the third card is. And we've got the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups. You can see somebody just lying there, not doing anything. And he's dreaming about all these cups, the house, the money, the love, children, work, you name it. You've got it all here. Don't turn your back on that. Then you have lost. Learn from your higher self. Listen. Also listen to the divine. They are calling upon you not to doubt it. As time goes on, you will learn how to cope. Accept what you have. Be happy and show gratitude. It's a beautiful situation. Things are going fast and you might doubt yourself that you will lose it. If you act like that, you will. Need to uh, learn. That's what I'm also hearing. Learn. You've got the book here. Learn what you don't know. Just keep your balance. Okay? And everything will be fine. Because this is the ultimate happiness. Wow. Don't be scared. Everything that is new, you have to also polish up. It's like a diamond in forming its shape. You have to form that diamond yet and find your balance in this new relationship. 
it is going well so don't worry and now we have the Queen of Cups just nurture nurture your dreams nurture your dreams you've still got the dreams there was unexpectedness and you might have lost one, something but you've gained a heck of a lot you've gained somebody either um, a fire sign or you have gained um, a pentacle now let's have a look let's go back that uh, the magician is a Gemini or an Aries that's the fire sign then you've got the three of cups the four of rods you've got fire here and you've got uh, a, a zodiac sign here which could be Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and uh, Temperance is Sagittarius now we've got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups is Scorpio but don't exclude Cancer or Pisces and she's a nurturing type this could be you or this could be the partner that one of these could be the partner you're going to meet up with and get married up with if you're not hooked up this could also be uh, if you are hooked up this could be one of those signs that there is an unexpected change in your relationship M ultimate happiness a new way of s taking the next level up perhaps expanding the family and that's why you're celebrating perhaps you find out that you're pregnant and you're worried that you can't keep the balance to maintain this happiness every step of life has its ups and downs but take it from me the pregnancy is a bliss you will never regret that your nurturing side will come out you will be the, the good mum or the good dad okay this is such a beautiful reading you will maintain the balance so long you are an open book clarity transparent clear communication don't make any illusions and don't have any illusions and remember I'm hearing now anything that's worthwhile will take a lot of work okay I hope you have enjoyed this reading I certainly have do you see how the story is told it's absolutely amazing so there you are you've got it in picture form now I've got a card that flipped out improving health you might not feel well or you might feel stressed out and that can agitate the health okay now I'm going to give you an one more card this is not a romance reading this is just a general reading but it looks like a relationship reading for you my darlings okay but remember you can form partnerships in business and you can form partnerships privately there you go I think th these colors are so vibrant and yes you must be transparent in every single way and be an open book with a partner tell them the truth you have the light blue angel feather break the silence the angels would like to assist you with sensitive communication that is required at this moment in time perhaps you didn't expect or didn't want to get pregnant or your partner didn't want to become parents so that could be a very sensitive conversation don't worry now I'm going to give you one more oracle card and that is the, your reading for the week let me know what you think from about the transparent tarot you've got four action yes take action that was the first thing that I said time to express gratitude happiness contentment and joy and that is what your reading was all about sorry look at that there you go happiness the ultimate happiness in the beginning 
in the first day of the first of the week and boom that is next Monday and next Monday will be uh, sorry the 7th to the 13th that is this that's this reading for you from the 7th to the 13th I hope you have enjoyed this reading and I hope you have a beautiful week. Take from it what you can and enjoy. If it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Thank you. Stay blessed. Please share and like.